Judge Junie House Tour $9 Million Rhode Island Mansion, Lifestyle and More 2023. Early Life and Career Judy Scheindlin, born under the name Judith Susan Blum, is an American court show adjudicator and TV patron from Brooklyn, New York City. She's also a former prosecutor and family court judge. She presided over the long-running court show Judge Judy, 1996 to 2021, which adjudicated real-life, small claims controversies within a dissembled courtroom set. It was the loftiest Nielsen-rated court show for 25 times. She latterly presided over Juby Justice 2021, the first standard courtroom series to broadcast new occurrences simply through a streaming service. In 1942, Shine Lin was born in Brooklyn to a Jewish family. Her ancestors were primarily German Jews and Russian Jews. Her father was the dentist Murray Blum. Her mom, Ethel, worked as an office director. Scheindlin entered her secondary education at the James Madison High School, an elite public high academy located in the Madison subsection of the Sheepshed Bay neighborhood of Brooklyn. The high academy offers scholars an education in the workings of American legal institutions. Scheindlin graduated in 1960. Scheindlin started her counsel education at the American University, a private exploration university which was located in Washington, D.C. The university has been combined with the United Methodist Church since its foundation. But religious cooperation isn't a criterion for admission. Scheindlin graduated with a Bachelor of Trades degree, majoring in government. Scheindlin finished her law academy education at the New York Law School, a private law academy located in Tribeca, New York City. She earned her Juris Doctor degree in 1965 and passed the New York State Bar Examination within the same time. She was soon hired as, as a commercial counsel by a cosmetics establishment. She worked for them until 1967. In 1964, Shine Lynn had married her first hubby Ronald Levy. Tax latterly king a prosecutor in juvenile court. They had two children within the first times of their marriage. In 1967, Shine Lynn abnegated from her job to concentrate for a while in the parenting of her youthful children. This marriage lasted until 1976 and ended in a divorce. In 1972, Scheindlin became a prosecutor in the New York family court system. In her part as a counsel, Scheindlin fulfilled child abuse cases, domestic violence, and juvenile crime. She acquired a character for her no giverish station. In 1977, she married the judge Jerry Scheindlin. She helped raise her three stepchildren two of which pursued legal careers of their own. In 1982, Scheindlin was appointed as a felonious court judge by Ed Koch, the mayor of New York City, 1924 to 2013, term 1978 to 1989. In 1986, she was promoted to the rank of the supervising judge in the family court's Manhattan division. She acquired a character for durability and harshness in her new part. In 1993, Scheindlin was the subject of incomposition in the Los Angeles Times. This helped her gain celebrity status. She was soon featured in a member on 60 Twinkles. She started work on her first book, Do Not Pee on My Leg and Tell Me It's Raining, 1996. Scheindlin retired as a judge in 1996. She had reportedly heard further than 20,000 cases in her career. She accepted an offer to preside in a new reality courtroom series, which came the conditions hit Judge Judy. Her observers reportedly liked to see evildoers intimately lowered by a strong authority figure. Scheindlin won several awards and honors over the following two decades. In 2006, she entered her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In March 2011, Scheindlin was rehabilitated after suffering a mini stroke. This didn't help her from renewing her contract or from negotiating a periodic payment increase. She inked her new contract in May 2011. In August 2017, she renewed her contract for Judge Judy for the final time. By 2020, Scheindlin had decided that she'd end her show at the time of its 25th season anniversary. The decision was motivated in part by her decreasingly poor relationship with the Empire Viacom CBS and by legal controversies with the gift agency Revolutionary Entertainment. 
Judge Judy broadcast its final occasion in July 2021. By that time, Shindlin had started work in the product of her new show, Judy Justice. Its first occasion was broadcast in November 2021. The program vended its first run occurrences through the streaming service Amazon Freebie. Shindlin credited her youthful adult granddaughter with furnishing input for this show's format. Alternate season was listed to appear in November 2022. By 2022, Shindlin was 80 times old. Though she has considered withdrawal from TV at Colorful Point, she has been reticent to follow through with her withdrawal plans. She has admitted in once interviews that she feels engaged by her work and that she considers herself suitable to still reach in followership. After a show business career of 26 times, she has come one of the most acclaimed numbers in American TV. Her life has been pretty simple and thrilling. She has literally heard 20,000 cases, which is honestly a big achievement, or we would say Emma Sab achievements for an arbitrator. This video is just getting more and more interesting moving ahead. We have a lot of information about her health lifestyle. So that was all about her early life and career. Now let's quickly have a look at her health and lifestyle. But before moving further, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we upload a video, also shared with a friend to share her inspirational story. Moving forward, health and lifestyle. Judy opened up about the scary moment while talking to Good Morning America and admitted she thinks she had a flash ischemic attack TIA. According to the New York Post, Judy told GMA, the people that watched me for 15 times noticed commodity was wrong and without asking, which was presumably a veritably smart thing. Because I would have said, do not go there. They called paramedics. The star, 79, reportedly started asking questions in slow stir, which advised directors to call an ambulance. Juby's croakers allowed. She might have had a mini stroke. Still, she said turned out to be I was fine. I am not sure whether I had one of those TI adjusts, and they go down. In 1978, she married Judge Jerry Scheinlin, who was an adjudicator on the People's Court from 1999 to 2001. They disassociated in 1990, incompletely as a result of the stress and struggles that Judy endured after her father's death that same year. They married in 1993. She has three stepchildren with Scheinlin Gregory Scheinlin. Jonathan Scheinlin and Nicole Scheinlin, and 13 grandchildren. Jonathan is a retinal surgeon, and Greg and Nicole are attorneys. Nicole is the co-creator, along with her mammy, of her honor mentoring program. After going through so much, she still looks young and healthy, and that's very appreciable. That was all about her health and lifestyle knob. Let us quickly have Al New at her net worth her assets and take a quick tour of her house. Net worth, assets, and house tour. So if you stay till here, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we upload a video. Also, let us know your thoughts on this video and many other videos we have uploaded in the comments below. Judy bought the property in 2018, and despite its original price label of $10.9 million, she managed to get it for significantly lower. Nicknamed the birdhouse. The 700 Four Court bottom property is set on just over three and a half acres and sits atop one of the loftiest points in Newport. The sprawling home was formerly possessed by the late Dorrance Hill Hamilton. The granddaughter of the man who constructed the process used to make Campbell's condensed mists. It boasts six bedrooms and eight bathrooms and is truly a sight to behold. At the time of purchase, a press release from the real estate company Reed, the Soaring. Two, story entrance hall and living room with bottom two, ceiling gravestone fireplace. Enjoy lovely ocean views. No expenditure was spared to produce a beautiful sanctuary using all that ultra modern technology can give. Incredibly, the home is just one of Judy and Jerry's numerous. They have at least five other luxury parcels, including two in Naples, Florida, one in Greenwich, Connecticut, another in Manhattan, and one in Beverly Hills. She definitely is an inspiration for all of us, and she inspired us we learned so much from her. And this video is super special. So this is all for today's video. Do not forget to like, 
share, and subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we upload a video. Also let us know your thoughts and comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.